it's favored, but I haven't seen 100% of Esper Mentor. I know it's featuring a lot of newer cards. Alright, we're going to start off for Luke with a Flooded Strand into a Thought Seize, so he's going to be shocking himself. Which, wow. Lawrence is going to reveal two Thalia Lieutenants, a Meddling Mage, a Champion of the Parish, an Aether Vial, and a Cavern. Yeah, I think the Champion was the best choice, and I think... This is going to set L Lawrence back a little bit. Yep. Uh, he's got the spell snare in hand for any two drop. So getting rid of the thing that isn't covered by that is probably the best play. Okay, everyone, we're obviously not always going to name human. And then, oh, wow. Vile force of negation? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's basically the only force of negation target in the entire deck. And, uh, I mean, he's got his Spell Snare in hand, and Vile lets them play around Spell Snare, so I mean, it seems reasonable enough. So we drew another champion. Yep. Yeah, he doesn't have a way to deal with that. Yeah. Alright, he found a land here, which means he can, uh, Brutality to kill the champion and still hold up the spell snare. Uh, instead he's going to choose to Serum Visions here. Uh, I don't know what that flip card is. If I had to take a random guess I'd say Thing in the Ice. Uh, so I played Luke two weeks ago on a Tuesday night. So he's running Jace. Jace Prodigy. Oh okay. So I've asked him about it before. He said it's really good in the matchup. So Uh, I don't know what he's going to name with that. I'm surprised that didn't catch a spell snare. Yeah. Unless whatever he named, it wasn't super important, so he was probably like, okay. Well, no, he would have had to cast spell snare before Lawrence chose a name. That's true. That's mine. I don't think Lawrence knows what he's actually on, though. Um. Uh, well, she's just gonna name Snapcaster. I mean, he just sees a sure. bunch of blue-white control cards, and yeah, that's actually a really good right there. Fatal push is pretty reasonable. Okay. Uh, no fourth land is kind of awkward. And Luke made sure he asked me. He's like. Can I play with my monks? I'm like, are they actual monks? He's like, yeah. I go, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't think Esper Mentor is slow enough for humans. I think it actually has really good because it's basically taking blue white and it's kind of pushing it down a little bit smaller. And it has removal that's amazing. It definitely seems too slow right now, though. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Yep, I mean, he's all the way down to six. And unless he has, like... You can do this to gain some life, I guess. Pitch, spell, snare, make a token. And then uh, Inquisition to get a second token and attack for uh, four total, yep. I think. Which I think Lawrence just drew a Reflector Mage. And if that's a Reflector Mage, um, I don't think it matters actually at this point. I think Luke's just so far behind. Uh, it depends on. I, I don't. I don't know what the rest of his deck looks like for removal. Because if he has a bunch of dead fatal pushes in his deck, like, it's kind of awkward. Okay. Yeah, I mean, now this is probably over. Path, that's one way to deal with the champion, but it's still... 
that he, that's still a two-turn clock, yeah. and he can't play the, the uh, mentor this turn. So we have some nice, real nice decks out there tonight. This is one of the decks that we haven't seen yet, as per mentor. And obviously, looking at it, it's really slow to one of the top tier decks in modern, which is humans. I give Lawrence his props. He's very good at piling humans, though. Yep. Okay. So Path champion there. is gone. He's going to take four. Go and get his planes. He's still dead if he doesn't find yeah. another removal spell. And if he has fatal pushes in his deck, he has like a much lower number of removal spells to find right now compared to normal. So looking at Luke's deck at this point, what's his only out right now? Oh, he's actually down to three. Uh, I have no idea what he plays in this deck. I'd assume he doesn't play sweepers. So, I mean, even if he found a sweeper, he, he only has three mana. I think no um, matter what, it's pretty much over without knowing what's in his Lawrence's hand. Fatal push doesn't do it. No, he would uh, have to get a path, but even doing a path, he's still going to go down to one. Mm -hmm. uh, brutality doesn't do it because it doesn't kill either of these. Yeah. And then that's just like a, that's a, yeah. Yep. That's a knife right there. All right, let's see what they have in their sideboards for this. All right, so Luke has two Fulminator Mages, Nelith Spellbomb, Kaya's Gill, which is the new modern Celestial Purge, Stony Silence, Rest in Peace, Fluster Storm, Spell Pierce, Dovin's Veto, and Narset. Uh, it looks like Luke's sideboard is very much tuned to beat combo decks. Yeah. And not at all prepared for any kind of creature aggro plan. I, I guess you can bring in Stony Silence. Uh. But even so, you're only go you're only shutting off four cards. Yeah, and even then, like. If you look at Stony Silence versus any card that's in his main deck that would come out, like, is it really better than any yeah. of them? I honestly don't see anything super great coming in. No, like, maybe I want to turn one Spell Pierce. Purge destroys red permanence too, right? It does. I don't know. I mean, he probably brings in Purge just because it kills Kaitsa Freebooter. Yeah. That's prob that probably makes it good enough. Oh, yeah, it does kill Mantis Rider, too. Yeah. So, Purge definitely comes in. Maybe Kaya's Guile, because it kills things. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, Basically... Probably board out some number of counter spells. I guess Guile can come in, because it's basically... He can gain four life, where he can have it also have his opponent sacrifice a creature. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Probably board out two counter spells, or... Two planeswalkers, or I, I, I actually have no idea what the composition of his deck is because he's got this mentor thing going on. Yeah. Um, Lawrence decided two Teagues, one Knight of Autumn, two Collector, three Champion, two Plague Engineers, two Militia, two Jailers, and two Dismembers. Fulminator, so he can counter his creatures, maybe. Uh, that seems very bad because he'll just vile them in and you can't counter them anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, normally in matchups like this, you'd want Gaddick Teague, but this is a much smaller, uh, Esper deck than, like, the one you'd think of that has, like, Cryptic Commands and stuff. So, Gaddick Teague probably doesn't come in here. Uh, Knight of Autumn doesn't have any text. Collector Oof doesn't have any text. Auric Champion, uh... I can see the Champion coming. But I really don't. It's though. okay. Like the only thing it does is make the make the tokens gain you one life. Uh, it doesn't have protection from them. No. Uh, the one that actually seems much better is Plague Engineer because you can name Monk, and he will just never get tokens. Yeah, I think the Dismembers and the Plague Engineers are going to be coming in. Honestly. Yep. Uh, I don't see deputy, so maybe he's gonna take one deputy out for the militia. 
to just try to keep going a little bit quicker. Because looking at Luke's deck, he really didn't see anything. Well, he didn't get past the three mana. But playing Esper Mentor, I don't really think he has that many. He shouldn't really have four mana spells in a deck like this. So I don't even think he has any Wrath effects. No. So I think, I, yeah, I I can't, think Militia I can't would Dynasty come in. Bugler is also just good against anything. Yeah. Anything with a bunch of removal because it's a free two for one. Both players are going to draw their sevens. Uh, Lauren's looking at a pretty standard hand that just curves out but doesn't have a vial. Probably fine. Uh, Luke is playing Unearth in his deck, which is interesting. I didn't think of that one. Uh, he has no blue mana. He has only a swamp and a plains. Okay, finds a vial. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully he draws into some blue mana, although he has two paths and an unearth, so he, it's not like he doesn't have things to do, but that unearth isn't going to be live for a while, it looks like. I will comment on his swamp that he played. I love that art. <laughs> yeah, it, it does look a bit weird next to uh, the an, unstable, an unstable <laughs> planes, but... So champion, yep. Yeah, that's... That's, that's the best two drop right now against Luke. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Has to burn one of those on it. Which I don't think Lawrence will care just because he's getting a land from it and he can just help him. Yep. And he, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. I mean, he gets to uh, <laughs> probably fetch shock and play a mentor this turn. Yep. And he has a bunch of cheap spells in hand to do things with next turn, so... Like, yeah, we so we see that Lawrence did put in a, a, a Gaddock Teague, which isn't the best. Um, I don't know. So so in the dark, if you see a big pile of cards that are normally in blue-white control plus a black splash, you probably just bring in Gaddock Teague because it's just good against those decks. Because, yeah, you're right. Like... You just to kind of assume, oh, their finishers are big planeswalkers. Let me bring in Gaddock Teague. Or they're playing Cryptic Command. Let me bring in Gaddock Teague. So in the dark, I feel like that's probably a reasonable thing to board in. But uh, if he actually knew Luke's list, like if, the, if this was at an event where lists are public, you don't bring in Gaddock Teague. I think the only thing that would have turned me off from the Teague is he saw the Monastery Mentor. Mm -hmm. That would have turned me thinking all right, he's not playing an Esper build. Where he's gonna have a finish, so I, that's why I wouldn't bring in the Teagues. But I get where you're coming from. It is the right play. Oh, Mantis Rider right there. Yep. Yeah, this is kind of rough. I, I love humans. It's so fun. Yep. Yeah. I mean, seven. Yeah, there's Gaddock Teague. It doesn't actually do anything here, but it's a grizzly bear. <laughs> I mean, he can stall out with tokens forever here. Yeah. Uh, but that engineer, he needs to pull an engineer. He can. Uh, he can pass the flyer, and then stall out on the ground forever. What's if he casts it? enough spells, he can actually make the tokens big enough to win trades if he finds enough instants. What's in his hand? What's like Horizon Canopy? Oh, hello. What else? I want it, that good sir. Oh, we're fighting it? Okay. I mean, I can take the fuck out of it. Athalia? Yep. Yeah. That's really good here. He should play that pre combat. Yep. If he plays that pre-combat, I think Luke is uh, probably forced to... Mantis, uh, path the Mantis Rider. Oh, actually, no, he's not forced to. 
He's not forced to do it immediately because he has three mana open and has nothing else oh, he can do Oh, that's another good turn. draw right there. He, he drew a fr uh, freebooter. That's another good draw right there. Yeah, so maybe he casts that one pre-combat instead. I think he does that one because he's going to force... Now he's going to force the path out of the hand. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Sure. Okay, so Path Mantis Rider. Prowess triggers get another token. Um, if he wanted to, he could put actually put enough power in front of this champion yeah. to win. I think that's an option actually. Uh, there's an unearth in his hand too, right? Yes. So you can just pretty freely throw this away to get it back next turn. So, champion's gone. This board looks much less threatening now. Yes, it really does. Basically just a 2-1 with first strike, a 2-2 two -two bear, and a noble, so... Yep. Yeah, there shouldn't really be anything in Luke's deck that cares about the Skadic Teague right now. So, it's not really doing anything. Uh, Thalia's kind of annoying, though. Because it means that Luke can't go play my... No, actually, no, he, he can. Yeah, he has enough mana to unearth plus cast another spell this turn if he wants to. Yeah. Yeah, so Mentor's back, and he can see him vision still. Yes, so. Got another monk. Two ops, which, with Mentor on the field, sure. Yeah, those are both both pretty reasonable. Uh, Reflector Mage is brutal, though. Yeah. That might be enough. So Freebooter, it's gonna, it should just whiff. Yep, there's a Snapcaster Mage. You can't take that one. Which Lawrence is going to... Okay, so you have wide open right now. Yep, and he has the land plus Reflector Mage as the last two cards. So if he... He can vile in the mage. Yeah, he can vile that in, get the mentor off the table, and then just freely attack in and force him to throw away tokens. Yep. Well, not force him technically, but like make him think about throwing away tokens. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this, this is really bad. So now he loses the token. Yep. Uh, he takes two damage. He was planning on just uh, letting that die so he could snapcast her for unearth and just bring it back again. Uh, what what are they trying to figure out here? Unless they were just trying to figure out where exactly he's doing the reflector, exactly at sure. what step. Yeah, but I don't I think still it mattered. Yeah, uh, without being able to make a bunch of tokens really quick here, I don't know how he cannot avoid dying. I, I guess yeah, he has to. Crawling back and it's rough. How did that get in the graveyard? <laughs> Am I missing something? The mentor died due to. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, how did that get in the graveyard?
so they rewind it. So they rewind it when the reflector mage came in. He didn't want to mage the mentor. He wanted to mage the token back and then just kill the mentor. Okay. Which that's like 100% a misplay. Yeah. And extremely confusing to me. Yeah, because you knew he had the Snapcaster. You knew he had the Unearth. I don't know why you would make that play. You The play you had originally was the right play. with that play but I don't think it's going to be enough for him to get back in this no, game it's really far behind especially because he hasn't been I think Luke has just been behind the whole entire game yeah and it's just it's hurting you can see it's hurting him now with him being at 6 and Luke's at 19 with a full board yeah get a token go ahead and opt Uh, he should be at four, actually, because the uh, freebooter attacked yep. with Exalted last turn. Uh, Inquisition. Yeah, sure. It Get gets another. nothing. So the, to the dice is representing three tokens, yeah. basically. We have tokens out there. I don't know why he's not. He's using still them. just gonna die in the air across two turns. Yeah. He might even be safe to just swing with everything. One mana open. I think. I think you just swing outright. But I get Lawrence is just going to play a little bit closer to the chest. Yeah, he's he's got nothing here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really... Luke is just playing behind both games. I'm going to go see if we can get a backup match because these matches are going somewhat fast. I don't think we will, but I'll double check.